So I'm going to show the class how to um, tie off. It's very hard going around to everyone, so uh, here we go. So you finish your stitches, and you're going to flip it over to the back side where this curve is. You see how it's curved on the inside? You're going to loosen two, at least. If you have if you have a lot of string left over, you can do three, but I, I prefer to do two. So you're going to loosen them just in the back side, and then you're going to, if it's melted on the end, you're going to have a hard time sticking it through, like I'm going to show you in a minute. So I'm going to cut this off. And then I'm going to push this through a little and cut just a little bit of this white right here so it's easiest to stick through the buckle. And then do it to the other side. Oh, the side's already kind of cut. Hopefully it can, the iPad's picking up my voice. So then you're, you have it loosened and you have your ends, you have it loosened, you have your ends cut, and now you're going to take each end and you're going to thread it through the buckle. Sometimes it helps to move it over so you have all that space. And you're going to push it through. Oop. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. You're going to push it over. The second side is always hard, the hardest because you got you're going to put end up with four four strings in one side of the buckle, but it is possible. And then you gotta make sure your ends are still loose. And you just need to loose enough so you can stick the the ends in there. And you're just gonna take them both. You can do one at a time or both at once. And you're just gonna stick them through. Um my name is Leanne, and if this video is used in future future rip class, then hope you guys enjoy it. And you're just gonna pull until it's tight. You might have to pull it on each side, pull it here, and then pull it on the other side, and flip it over and pull it tight. This will make it so that it can't go down and you, you should leave at least half a fingernail to a fingernail. I'm going to leave my whole fingernail because mine aren't too long. And just cut it. And then you melt it and you're good.